Hey everybody, Brad Lee's Fan 9 here with some more Gears 5. This is a second edition of the XP grinding for Gears 5 to get the re-ups without actually having to play. Now since the last one I made, there was the rubber band trick to make yourself spin in circles to avoid getting kicked. But now I've actually found another way, thanks to someone on True Achievement's website. Shout out to me telling me that this method worked. So now since the surge is gone from the challenge hives, which most of you may have who watched the other video are wondering which hive to do next, this is actually an easier method than the original one. This one you'll also be able to have your controller off, so I'd suggest if you want to start up a match without having to look for people, if you have two controllers just sign them in as guests. That's what I'm going to do here. It's not necessary, you could just find two people online and then just ditch them basically. But this is the easiest way to make a map for yourself. So here, you go to past hives and there would have been the surge in there, but now it's gone. But with this method you can pick whatever one you want, it doesn't matter. You don't need a safe room for this method. Now this one you could get the faster venom, so I suggest doing a map that lets you have faster venom as a difficulty. Don't put on master, keep it on inconceivable so you could still respawn. And now since I have two guests with me, it'll create a match automatically. And now if you don't want to have triple screens and stuff, now at this point, you could just sign out those guests. And once they sign out, they'll leave your game and then leave you alone like this. And now what I was wondering, because Buddy told me that you could just sit in the hive pod and get the same amount of experience, and I wasn't too sure because I thought you had to press X. But he informed me that you do not... After press X, he'll automatically open the pod by themselves. This won't work on custom, I don't believe, because you have to hit a certain button to continue a uh, retry. But as long as you're doing any sort of community hive, either of them will do. You just sit in the pod like this. And after about 45 seconds to a minute-ish, it'll automatically open itself. Now one thing you could do if you are like watching a movie while doing this at the same time, you could just periodically press X to make your person open up the pod faster. But as you see here, eventually they'll open it themselves. Because I said you could do this with your controller off, right? So all of this will be just going on in the background. So you could turn, set this up. And then once you get to the point where you're in the pod, you could turn your TV off and go to sleep. I did practice this for 8 hours last night and woke up with 40,000 experience before boost. So honestly that seemed to do even better than the last method. And I don't believe there's any way to get kicked because every time you're in a pod, it I guess refreshes your activity so it won't boot you for being inactive. So then you just stand there and since there's faster venom on, It'll blow up even faster and then just kill you. And then you'll just automatically spawn back into the pod. And then it just repeats that process. I'll show you here, you could just go and turn off your controller to save the batteries. And then I'll show you in the background here, it still continues going, it doesn't pause. I'll speed this up here. As you see, she still rips it open in the background and she'll still die. So this is, as you may have, if you watched my other video on the idle XP grinding, this is way better than the other one. Less chance of people reporting you for being inactive. You don't have to get to a safe room, you just start any wave, any hive I mean, and you can just sit there. So it's way easier to set up. It seems to be more reliable so that you don't get kicked. You don't have to use rubber bands on your controller to stay active. And you could do it with homies too, obviously. It's about to blow. And then I'll just show you here that it just blows up and stuff in the background with your controller off. And like I said, I did it for eight hours overnight to test it and I did not get kicked. And I woke up with a ton of experience. But also, like I said, if you're watching a movie or something and can press X every now and then, 
you could feel free to do that and it'll save about 40 seconds every time you pop to get even more experience faster if you want to kind of stay on top of it but if you don't want to do anything that's fine too because i'll show you here after eight hours waking up this is what i got for cashing in just to show you some proof I wasn't too what to expect until I woke up to cash it in and I was pleasantly surprised that I got this much experience. As you see, 40,000, that's a pretty good haul. Especially for not doing anything. I was skeptical that just sitting on the beginning wouldn't get you any experience, but I was wrong, thankfully. So I hope this helped everybody find a new way to grind out this experience and I assume most of you are pretty happy with the outcome seeing that it's even easier than the previous method and since the update that kicked you for being idle it doesn't get affected here either so this is by far the easiest method since this game came out to grind out experience and if you have boost as you see here you'll get twice as many experience. So overall I got 80,000 experience just by sleeping and I did this on October 31st so if you're wondering whether it's old or not that's the last the first time I did this method and have it work for me as you can see and then you can just go back into a new one if you want really easy to set up so I hope this helped everyone find a new method to grind out the experience because for anyone who looked up how much experience it takes to get to re-up 20 you understand it's a ridiculous grind where if you didn't do anything like this, it would take you forever to get to re-up 20 and not allow you to play any other games. So I hope this helped you get that experience. Thanks for watching, everyone. Visit my channel for other Gears 5 guides, and I'll see you in my other videos.